a brand new builder, a stunning house with 12 foot ceiling height. Let's have a look, let's go. Hello and welcome to another episode of Model Home Show where strategy matters, fashion rules. And guys, today I am in Lithia and Riverview. I'm actually at the border of Lithia and Riverview. It really depends upon where you buy in the community. Uh, so it really depends if you are on the other side of the road, then it's probably Lithia zip code. If you're on this side of the road, it's probably Riverview, but right at the very edge. And today's model home is just absolute stunner. I just did a model home for another uh, model that they have and this is the new builder that I'm covering it's a local builder and oh my god I just absolutely fell in love I do a lot of videos with a lot of builders and their model is just amazing it's five bedrooms four bathroom a den uh, 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 loft area it's just absolutely beautiful and the best of all 12 foot ceiling height you know I have not come across so far I've done over 200 models I haven't come across where I've seen a 12 foot ceiling height and the most I've seen is 11.4 this is absolutely a stunner now it is a three car garage in a gas gated community right here in Tampa suburbs of Lithia and Riverview now this is a model so of course it has a lot of bells and whistles I'll do my best to point it out you can see it has a really nice long driveway with the pavers of course this is a builder model so these pavers are actually an extra feature it's not a standard feature you really have this beautiful key largo style uh, you know a coastal style uh, front like you have really nice posh area so as I walk in you have so much space so you have really nice upfront space. So it's nice with those beams. You have extra lights over here. It's really open. And if you really like a floor plan where you know you, you have a little bit of a, a, a walkway to get into your house, this is just fantastic with this beautiful stone as you probably see right over here. And these pillars are decorative. So it just looks amazing. So let's go inside and check the rest of this beautiful model out. Hello, hello, and welcome to another beautiful loaded, and I really mean loaded, builder model. Now guys, if you are looking to build a model exactly like this with all the bells and whistles, it's probably gonna cost you about 1.3 million as of right now. I don't know what it would be six months down the road just because of inflation and everything, so just keep that in mind. Uh, very rarely I come across homes that I am just absolutely in awe for, and this is one of those. I actually did another model and it was just absolutely gorgeous. So as the home sits, it's five bedrooms, four bathrooms, you have the den space, you have the extra space at the back, you have a loft and also another bedroom and a bathroom upstairs. It's a beautiful model sitting on a 70 by 120 lot. Now, this lot is way bigger than 70 by 120 because it's on a cloudy sec, so the lot shape is kind of a pie, so it's a little different. It's in a community, it's in a gated community right on the border of Lithia and uh, Riverview, it's still Hillsborough County. And those of you who do not know, it's a suburban area. You're just about 40 minutes to downtown Tampa, just about 40 minutes to an hour to the International Airport at Tampa, uh, about 40 minutes to Busch Garden, an hour 20 to hour 40 minutes to the uh, Disney World and everything else. So just keep those things in mind. The CDD of this community is about $3,500 um, a year. The HOA is about $250 a quarter. They do have two pools, two dog park. Uh, they also have uh, a play area for kids. Now, you know, I I'm gonna say this because I, I kind of find it funny. They have two dog parks because one is for small dogs and the other one is for big dogs. So big dogs plays with big dogs, small dog plays with small dogs. I always wanted to say that, I guess. But anyways, so as I walk in, you have this really nice eight foot door, which is a standard feature at the entrance as of right now because things are very much changing and then you have this 12 foot ceiling like look at the ceiling height like it's just amazing you have the crown molding right there you have those extra lights so in a standard feature you just have the light there you don't have the fall ceiling or the or the or the crown molding that is something that is going to be add on this house is just absolutely loaded with a lot of the base price of this house is about $712,990. I don't know why they didn't call it 13, 713,000. It would have been easy to remember. But anyways, that's the base price. 
to get into a house like this in this community, uh, you know, they call this house, uh, uh, I, they, there was a specific word she said, it's called DYH, design your own home. Basically what it means is that all the structural options have already been chosen, so you cannot do structural additions, but you can design everything in the house. You can design the floor, which is of course an upgrade. You can get the crown molding. You can get this beautiful beam that you see right over here. Now, one thing good about this builder guys is that this is the builder that will build you the exact same house if you have the budget to spend. They will do that. Most builders would not do things like the woodwork that you see here, or that you see the crown molding, they, they usually don't do that. With this builder, they're gonna offer you everything that they do. The baseboard that you see over here is actually a standard size for the baseboard with this builder. So just keep those things in mind. So as I walk in here, you have this office space or a den space. Now this is a builder model, so it's missing the doors. Uh, because it's easy to kind of walk in and show them around instead of opening and closing the doors. So just keep that in mind. One of the best part about my job when I'm showing you these homes is just the way they design it. And look at that, like look at that fan. I was actually at the other model and they had a very, very unique fan. Like it just, just blows me. I don't know where they source all that material, but like this is just amazing. So you have this nice big window, you have the extra lights, the crown molding. Now guys, don't get carried away with all those little things because I always say this, you know, at the end of the day, the budget has to work for you. The, the area has to work for you. Everything else, you could always do that later if you don't have the budget. If you haven't watched my video on the do's and don'ts of building a brand new home, make sure to do that because I not only show you, but I also go a lot more deep into that. So just keep those things in mind so that would assist you so that you can get the most bang for your buck. And if you are looking to buy a house anywhere in Central Florida or Tampa areas, make sure to subscribe to our channel, press that thumbs up button, uh, show us some love because I I know a lot of you are watching, but there are a few that are only subscribing. My subscribe rate to watch rate is about 25, 30%. I would really love if you could just subscribe. It really helps us to put our videos in front of more people that are looking. And YouTube kind of watches that algorithm. So I really would appreciate it if you could just press that thumbs up button. And if you are not sure, hey, where do I live? Or what area should be better? Is Riverview better than Wesley? Is Wesley better than Lithia? Make sure to check out Community Living by D. And that's where I talk about the communities. I give you the basic information such as hospital, schools, dining, shopping, um, how far it is from main stuff, how far is it from airport, everything that you need to know especially when you are out of town and you have no idea how I-4 is or how the other road is. So just keep that in mind. Now, going across, right across, is that your dining area. And good thing that I like about this house is that, you know, it's kind of open. There's not a door over here. So I really, like, I really prefer open area, but if I'm going to have a dedicated dining space, I just don't want it to be a room. What I really love is something like this. And I was talking about like things like this, and things up there like the woodwork. With this builder, if you have the budget, they will be happy to do that. Now, this is a gas community, hallelujah. You know, I there's not a lot of gas community, but this is a gas community, so just keep those things in mind. It's, it's a very conveniently located. It's a little bit of a rural area, but you're kind of away from all the hustle and bustle of Orlando. You're kind of away from all that Tampa stuff that is out there. Now, Tampa used to be cheaper than Orlando, but now, the growth has been absolutely crazy. Guys, if you are looking to buy a house and you're just waiting because you're trying to time the market, I'm going to tell you the prices on brand new homes are not going to come down. There might be a little bit of a variance uh, on brand new home. What I am seeing is that the builder is willing to give you more incentive. Right now, they're doing about $25,000 towards closing cost and prepaid if you use their preferred lender. That is something I'm seeing on the resale side of things. What I'm actually seeing is that there's some correction. And I do believe that between five to 7%. But at the end of the day, this is what I tell my clients. It's about you. If you're going to time the market, you're just going to sit around and do nothing. And I have seen this over and over again. And the real example, I actually gave that in my other video that I did for this builder was that I had a client who was looking to buy a specific model. And if she would have made that made that investment at that time to build that house, she would have made $200,000 on that model just about a year and a half ago. The same model right now is a lot more expensive, like $200,000 more expensive. And let's just say if the market corrects itself, it's not gonna come down $200,000. 
you know, it may come down maybe $50,000 at the max, and she was just timing it, and she got priced out. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that things work for you, if you can make the payment, if it kind of falls in the arena, because, you know, things are always going to change with real estate. You know, you, you don't just wait and buy real estate, you buy and wait. You know, you just don't wait. You just buy as long as it makes sense and it's not going to cost you, uh, like it's not going to basically take all your income and then your house rich, but then everything else poor. So you make that decision because getting a loan these days is very, very difficult. Just moving on as I come in and look at this, guys. Isn't this amazing? This is the standard size of this uh, model but here's what i want to show you look at this guys this is something that you could do when i whenever i show homes to my wife because she always says hey you go to such amazing model maybe you can take me one day and sometimes i do that for fun that's our kind of a date day so i'll take her to the models while i learn about my work she just enjoys and this this is what she always always does you see how this is a nice soft touch you have the garbage built out right over here you have things like this. These are all the upgrades that you could do. And with this builder, they will give you those options to do that. The only option you don't have is the structural. So what I mean by that is when I take you at the back, they have that extended lanai area, which kind of they're using it as a play area. So I will show you that that is something that has to be there. Now, this community is in phase three. They have phase four, five, six and seven so they have about 700 homes to be built in the next now i always tell my client if you are looking to buy a brand new home guys you want to start early during the phase because by the time your house is built and by the time the builder is out of the community you already will get a good amount of equity built in so the the, the benefit of buying a brand new home is in the beginning you want to buy in a community sooner so that you can really build on that. So as you can see, everything over here is an upgrade. You see the crown molding right there, the color of, of your cabinets right here. Everything over here is an upgrade. You have this nice frosted glass. You have this really nice walk-in pantry. Not very big because you have a lot of space. Uh, there's actually, I'm gonna take you around in just a moment, but there is actually uh, you know, cabinets underneath this, this whole area. So you have a lot of space to store things, but you have this really nice gourmet kitchen option, upgraded appliances. Of course, the refrigerator, washer, and dryer do not come, so just keep that in mind. But here's what I was telling you. If you come over here, this is what I want to show you. You have this really nice island, but then you also have this space right there. You have all of this. Now, this is, of course, an added feature, so you would have to pay extra money for it. And the regular standard feature does have the granite. They have three different kind of granite. However, if you go something like this, then it is going to be additional cost. You have the pendle lights over here, and then you have the, the electric outlet right there, and also an electric light over there. Now, this is where you have the master suite, which I'm gonna take you last, because this is just absolutely beautiful. I want you to stick around to watch the whole video, but look at this. You have the extra lights right there. You have the beams. You have pretty much everything. This whole house shows so beautifully. And then you have amazing pool, which I'll take you in just a moment. But everything for this house is gonna be about 1.3. But if you want to, yeah, if you don't want to build a pool, if you want to just get the regular one, you probably could be around lower 800s to mid 800s if you don't go crazy on the design center options. And as I go around, you have this area like a little, um, you know, I wouldn't say a breakfast nook, but still a dining area with the nice uh, chandelier right there. So it's kind of tucked away, but it's right there. I have two small kids and I would really love something like this because I can do my thing. By the way, I love to cook. So I can do my thing, keep an eye on my boys to see whatever they're doing. And then just kind of, especially when I have friends and family, this is the, this is the way I want it. I want to do my thing and have the, everybody kind of commingling over here rather than having in another rooms and stuff. So just some food for thought. So as I go over here, you have the laundry and look at the size of this laundry, guys. This is a three car garage. I can't go behind this door because this is obviously a builder model, but look at all that. You look at the way, the, the backsplash, like look kind of this, this tile is kind of wavy. And then you also have the light underneath it. You have the cabinets up there, but look at this down station. You come down, 
you put your bag like look at this beautiful you put your bag like my boys can come put their bags right there put their shoes right there put everything and then off they go so that is something good you have a wash station right over there so the room is big enough and then you also have a small linen closet right here so everything with this house is just upgrade 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 and i want to make sure that i point that out because i don't want you to think if you want to know, hey, what do I get for my standard $713,000 in base price, then make sure to put that comment below because I can send you the list of exactly what you get. The ceiling height is a standard, so that is something to keep in mind. The baseboard that you see here is a standard. As of right now, things can change at any time, so just keep those things in mind. But this is the first room that you have over here. I always suggest extra lights if you possibly could. I probably wouldn't do four lights as they have it. I probably will do the one light in the middle that it comes with. And then I probably do another two lights either going this way or going this way because for a bedroom, you really don't need that many light. However, I would do that in my great room. I would do that in my master room. I would do that in the hallway and I would do that in a room that I'm going to use it as an office or make it into a gym or something. The other thing that I really like is that these are pullouts. They are not one of those split or the rolling ones. This is nice, especially when you're building a house, seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. This is something really good, but I really love that you have the eight foot door, which is not a standard. So just keep that in mind. And then as I go around over here, look at that, how beautifully it is decorated. Jesse room it is. Guys, something like this is just nothing but right blue paint and these are stickers. It just looks so amazingly well. So it's just, just don't go carried away, but look at the size of this room. And then you have this nice window, which are obviously hurricane impact windows. Uh, you know, these are uh, double pane windows is what they call them. And then you have this nice walk-in closet. So very comfortable. The carpet over here is definitely an upgrade. So just keep that in mind. And then as I go out, there is actually a bathroom, which is a shower tub combination. So let me go ahead and take you over here and look at this. I just love the way of tile kind of going all the way up. This is something I highly suggest because it's not going to cost you a lot of money to go do it all the way up, but it does bring in a good impact. The only thing that I would suggest when I say this on maybe some kind of a different color pattern going this way or this way. The other home that I actually did, they did something very different. They actually had a tile like this and then they had a patch almost right there, like a big square. That was completely different. I've actually not seen that. So you have your toilet right there, but look at this, look, look at the sink here. So things like this, the color of your cabinet, all of those things are upgrade. So as I go around, I'm going to take you on the backside of this house. Now, as I walk, you have, you're going to walk through all the great room and then you're going to pass the upstairs. So I'm going to take you upstairs in just a moment, but let me go ahead and show you this bedroom. And this is my favorite bedroom for two reasons. I love the way they have decorated. My little guy is more into construction stuff. He really loves doing those things. But I love the stone elevation right there. Same size window. And then over here, you have a little walk-in closet. Really well done in the way they have it. I prefer something like this rather than the whole linear one. I would like something like this. It kind of helps you. What I am going to suggest, if you have something like this, then you want to make sure that you maybe can turn this into a California closet so you kind of get more space. But look at this, guys. As I walk around, this is your pool bath. And look at this. Of course, it's an upgrade. That goes without the saying. Look at the flooring right there. You have that little uh, niche right there, and then you have little space right here. But look at this tile. Isn't that beautiful? It just kind of, you know, it just pops you. Like, if you look at it, you're like, wow. It just gets your attention. And then you have the undermount sink. What I like about this one is that you see the undermount sink is a little bit deep, you know, so it's, it's kind of really nice right over here. And then you have the door that leads you to your pool area and everything else. But as I go around, look at this. This is one of the structural options that you may or may not have. So it really depends what lot you choose. But look at that crown molding. It's like a little play area or a little you know, your own little relaxing area, watching the kids have gone to bed. You can come here and watch a movie rather than the living area because you might wake them up. But this is like a private retreat. But look at this whole space. A lot of windows, one, two, three, four, and then the double doors right there, bringing in so much light. 
and then you have this lot because I was telling you the way this lot is it kind of goes all the way at the back towards the second tree and then the rest of that is an easement area but look at all this space right over here so let me go ahead and take you upstairs before I take you outside or before I take you to the master bedroom let me know what you think of this beautiful beautiful house so let's go upstairs So as I go upstairs, I do want to point out that these risers, you know, you have the wood flooring, this is an upgrade, and so is this over here. So the railing, as you saw downstairs and over here is actually an upgrade. The ceiling height is nine four on the second floor. And then as I walk in, you have the shower tub combination, kind of nice wavy tiles going all the way up with a little niche. Instead of having the whole niche, they have this little thing right there. So it's really comfortable. And then the same kind of the sink that you say, undermount sink, upgraded cabinets, upgraded uh, knobs right over there. And then just around the corner, you have the bedroom over here. Look at the amount of windows you have with this beautiful brick wall right there, which of course is an upgrade, the extra light. They kind of made this whole room into a little yoga or a little exercise. And then you also have a closet. So just that you know, the definition of a bedroom is that you have a closet and you have a window. So this is actually a bedroom. Now you won't see any, any doors because it's a builder model. They just take it out so that it's easy to kind of show. And then as I walk around, look at this space, guys. Wow. You have this little punching bag right there. Oh no, actually, <laughs> you have this punching bag right there so you can punch it all day long. But look at all the stuff. You can make this into your own retreat. You have the place downstairs, you have the place over here, but do you see how this is kind of anchored over there? So let's go down and let me show you the best room in the whole thing. It's the master suite. So let's go ahead and go downstairs. So as I come down, you know, I didn't mention the lot price. So the lot could be anywhere from 10,000 to about 60,000. It really depends if it's a corner lot, if it's the lot on the water. So let's go and check the master bedroom or the owner's retreat. I just recently learned that what this is called the owner's retreat. You have the master bathroom up there, which is just gorgeous. As I walk in, you have this nice wall, beautiful decoration. And you also have the closet, which I'm gonna bring you in just a moment because this is something special. But look at your master bedroom. Tray ceiling, crown molding, nice woodwork, beautiful, beautiful chandelier, the door that leads you to your master, uh, to your pool area. Another big window right there. Another window bringing in so much light. But look at the space, guys. Like, I want to stand right there. Look at all the space you have. This is so spacious. Like, this is just amazing. You know, guys, if you want to know, hey, for the base price, this is actually included in the base price in terms of how the house sits and the floor plan of the house. Everything else depends upon the structural, like the structural was the one out down there. Also one upstairs, like the brick wall and stuff like that. So just keep those in mind. Now, as I go straight down, look at your master closet. You have a section right over here, and then you have another section right over here with this nice wood racks right there. Now, I would just get the regular racks that the builder gives, and then I will turn this into a California closet to have more space. But I love that you have this nice wall in between. And then I walk into my master bathroom. Look at this beautiful, beautiful, you know, and they do a very good job. Now with builder, you always will see that, you know, every bathroom will have a different color cabinets. The kitchen had different color. That is just to show you and with this builder, it is my understanding that right now you can do that. You can get white cabinets here. You can get a different color over there if you don't want to keep it that way. But look at all the space. You have this nice cabinet there, beautiful light. And look at your walk-in shower. Wow, wow. You have this really nice walk-in shower, just simple subway tile with a little design pattern that you could see right there, a little niche. And it's right there. You have the rain shower, you have this. Everything is right there. Now, rain shower is actually an added feature, so keep that in mind. And then look at that. You have your tub area with the same kind of tile. You have, instead of a, a linen closet, which usually would be the case, you have this cabinet right there. 
It's kind of really nice with nice light at the back. So you have this nice water closet. Um, you know, I would have preferred a little bit more bigger, but nevertheless, it's very comfortable. Now guys, if you are looking to buy a house, you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Our services to you as agent is absolutely free. You know, you don't have to pay us. You can use our experience to assist you in finding the right deal. You know, when you give us a call, you're gonna be talking to one of the person on my team and their sole job is to get the information. They wanna know, hey, what's your name, email address, the best time to call you, what is your time frame? where are you looking, and then to connect you with either myself or somebody from my team who is an expert in that area. And what we also do, which most people don't do right now, we do a Zoom call. Like we want to use the technology to the best. We do a Zoom call where we will meet you. We want to see what you look like. You already know what we look like. So we want to make sure that, hey, we'll do a Zoom call. We'll show you the back end. We'll show you everything so that when you finally come down, you kind of know, hey, I know the area. We, we looked at it on the map, we looked at it there, so you can kind of get a very, very good idea of what it is. By the way, I didn't mention that in Hillsborough County, you have the best middle school and high school. Kindergarten schools are also good, but the best schools are middle school and high school. So if you have a high school or a middle schooler, then the school in which this community is are very good. So let's go outside and check the outside area where you have this beautiful, gorgeous school. So as I come outside, I want to point out that you see these pavers over here, which actually is an upgrade. However, your extended lanai that you see is actually a standard feature. But look at this beautiful pool, and then you still, the lot is actually 70 by 120, so you still have enough room once you build a pool. Maybe not a, a lot of room, but still a comfortable room. Now, this lot goes up to the second tree right there, and look how beautifully manicured the lawn is. It just looks amazing you know one time i was doing the pool and i almost kind of lost my footing and went almost fell into the water i'm like that would have been a cool shot and i would have included that for your fun in in my video but anyways maybe that would be one day uh, hopefully it wouldn't be soon but look at all the space guys you know what i really like is that you know if you have a, a, a gathering or something you have that area right there you have this area right here i would have loved to build a summer kitchen and maybe one of the walls on the side if i could but that's pretty much it. You know, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is a brand new builder for me. I'm going to be covering a few of their other models. They're typically built in the Tampa Bay and the outskirts of Tampa Bay area. You know, they're in Riverview, they're in Wesley Chapel, they're in um, um, Lithia. So they do build these models in different communities also. I hope you get a lot of value. Press that thumbs up button. Guys, I also have the same show in Spanish. I don't do Spanish, like I don't speak Spanish. However, my Spanish agent partner does that. So make sure to check out that. It's called Orlando Home Show in Espanol. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, thank you for watching. Bye for now.